Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your Puffco Peak Pro Diamond Dab of the Day. Today, I want to thank you all for joining me. You know what to do if you enjoy the video. Hit that subscribe button, join the family, send a like, and I respond to all comments. Let's figure out how we can overcome our physical pain with our mind. What do you think about that? Here we go. Chronic or severe pain can interfere with your ability to work, maintain relationships, sleep, and have life. If pain medications and other treatments are unable to bring full relief from whatever your problem is, chronic intractable pain like I have, chronic migraine somebody might have, rheumatoid arthritis, neuropathic pain, or another condition, your mind can be a wonderful tool to help you with your pain. So we're going to learn about today how our mind can help us reduce or overcome our physical pain. Well, first we got to talk about relaxing the body. Taking a breath. If your pain is severe, you're likely breathing rapidly and slowly. In contrast, deep breathing from the diaphragm and exhaling from the chest has been shown to harness the parasympathetic nervous system's quieting response so you can help calm yourself down maybe get into a quiet room turn off all the distractions maybe close your eyes doesn't have to and try focusing on nothing but the inhalation and exhalation if you can realize that you're in control of your body and take charge of your own breathing you might be able to better prevent the pain from controlling you once you're breathing deeply Muscle relaxation may come naturally. Try to let go of all feeling in your body and remain focused only on the breathing. Something like Lamaze, if you're in a childbirth class. And then the next step is deep diaphragmic breathing. But there are other things to help you calm down because that might not be enough. Progressive relaxation has shown to be an effective form of muscle relaxation, which causes, which requires no external stimuli. Start with your toes, all the way up to the hair on top of your ears. When your mind alone fails to bring muscle relaxation, consider adding pressure point therapy. Research has shown that pressure points associated with your type of specific pain, compressing them with your fingers reduces muscle tension, thereby alleviating pain. But you don't want to continue activating a pressure point if it seems to be worsening your pain when you remove your fingers. It's all about visualization of relief. We've got to find ways to practice visualization. Visualization is also called guided imagery. And it involves coming up with a detailed situation and the emotions that accompany it. So successful visualization is being in a warm bathtub or on a wonderful nice lounging beach you see another odd but effective visualization topic is actually food sometimes for some people thinking about food a decadent dessert your favorite Sunday dinner can actually reduce pain we must confront the pain Instead of that thinking of other sensations in your body, disassociate. Disassociate, but stay visualizing, okay? Think of your pain as a giant blob, a loud noise or a bright light. The trick is to imagine that you're gradually reducing the irritating quality of the image. Shrinking the size of the blob, making the noise quieter or the light dimmer. As you reduce reduce those irritating things, you'll reduce the irritation caused by your pain. You might even imagine Novocaine or lidocaine being put where it's painful. Imagine it really clearly being injected right where the source of the pain is, and you're going to feel a little bit better. Our brains are incredible. Our brains, it actually can they, they can actually divert our senses elsewhere in our body. That's what it's all about. It's about making sure you're not spending too much time 
on the pain. Instead of thinking about your aching head or burning hands, focus on your feet. Consider all the sensations that you usually ignore and maybe give them your focus. Pay attention to the texture of your socks. Wiggle your toes and feel them rub against one another. Tune in to all the sensation that you normally tune out because your primary focus was on the pain. You are changing your focus. There's a method to this madness. Changing your focus means you could try meditation, you could try anything that you can to get yourself to a place where shouting a curse word will help you. Because in meditation, it might not be for you. There could be another type of positive distraction. Laughter, listening to music, social things. These are all ways to detract our minds from thinking about our pain. Get creative even. That's right. Art therapy. It's a very popular technique people are using around the country and around the world to deal with their chronic pain. It provides a distraction also for an outlet for your anger or frustration that you feel because of the pain. You got to remember there's no right creative activity. It's whatever interests you most. So what we need to understand here is that we are in control. We are in control. We can turn the volume down in our brains. We have the ability to do it. You see, everybody takes a different path to get to their goal in their journey. But everybody's kind of putting one foot in front of the other. They kind of do it the same way, if that makes any sense. So what we need to think about is opportunities. We live in a cyclical world. Come around, every time you come around, you have two things, hope and opportunity. Well, guess what? Use the power of your mind to manage your chronic pain. Even if you suffer from low-grade pain that you've lived with for a long time, you now, today, can start managing that pain. The visualization, the mindfulness, dealing with it has never been so easy. There are now tools for us to focus on it less, lift our spirits, and manage our pain with our mental, our brains. We've got to try mentally to overcome that short-term pain. Migraines, cramps, pinpricks, short-term pain. Deal with it mentally. Practice. It's worth learning how to distract yourself or breathe through the pain until you've made it to the other side. We've got to utilize other ways to control the pain, too. The mental component does not have to be the only pain management tool we use. Mental pain relief techniques work in conjunction with medicine, acupuncture, massage, whatever else you use. And remember to seek help before the pain becomes debilitating. I learned it the hard way. You need to stay ahead of your pain. You see, the thought of overcoming pain without medication can seem like a really brave or stupid thing to do. It takes a lot of mental strength, which you need to give yourself credit for, to keep your body in good shape. Pain is simply a signal that something's going wrong in the body. Don't push yourself too far before you seek medical attention to get the proper treatment and relief. This is about keeping ourselves calm, having a better attitude, knowing ourselves better. It's not about solving the medical situation. That we need to listen to our doctors and seek medical help. This has been The Real Senior Stoner. I truly hope everyone enjoyed today's video. You know what to do if you did. Subscribe, send a like, and I reply to all those nice comments. Diamond going in the bowl now. And we're firing up the Puffco Peak Pro. Here we go. And by the way, Thanks for joining me. It's important that as we move through life, we know we're not alone. As we move through life, we know we're human. Everyone's different, but everyone's the same, if that makes any sense.
thanks again for being here, everybody. The Real Senior Stoner. Talking about using our minds, using our brains to help minimize, reduce, even eliminate our chronic pain. Cheers, everybody. It's cooking. Excuse me. Thanks again for joining me. Have a great day, everyone.